Hey, what's up guys? So today let's talk about a bad habit that I see in a lot of people at the range or uh, especially in law enforcement courses or in very type A personality kind of areas, right? Um, and it doesn't have to be just shooting, it's just in general. And that is tactical ego, right? Tactical ego is something that I call uh, those dudes that are just too good to like try something new, right? If you're too good to try something new because of your ego and you're scared to fail, then you're not willing to learn, right? That's, that's the opposite of it. Because remember, I don't look at it as winning and fail, I'm sorry, winning and losing. I look at it as winning and learning, right? So if I'm not willing to, you know, plummet, make mistake, do something wrong, and then end up having to earn or learn something new based off of that heartache, if you want to call it heartache, um, if you're not willing to learn from that, then you're, you're missing out on a lot of experiences and also uh, self-development that you could be doing based off of your current knowledge, adding to it or evolving to newer times. So uh, a good example of this is when I try to show somebody a new grip, right? I try to show them grip and I'm like, hey man, I know you've been doing this for like 20 years in law enforcement, but as you know, not everybody in law enforcement was taught correctly. It is what it is, right? There's, there's a lowest common denominator and they have to teach and get those people in and out and shuffle them through and all that jazz. Well, sorry if this hurts people's feelings, but that grip that worked for you 20 years ago, unless you've evolved with it over the years and found a better and better, better way to do it, you're probably still using a weak grip. So maybe it's time to go look at different things. That's why I think it's very important for a lot of shooters, even very experienced shooters, to go to fundamental based courses, right? Simple things. I've had guys that have been shooting for more, more than I've been alive that come to mechanics courses and they're like, oh, I never knew that, right? Every once in a while I go to a course and I'm like, oh, that's genius. I love that. I'm gonna write that down, right? And I'm gonna quote or or cite my sources when it comes to that little technique because I really love learning. Now, not everybody's a bookworm or a little nerd like myself where I wanna learn more things, so they're not gonna go out and do that, but it's okay to go and experience and fail a little bit. That's why it's good to test yourself against stuff. Now, a lot of times, tactical ego doesn't allow you to go out and do that. They're like, eh, we already know it, right? I've been doing it for years like this. But how have you been doing it for years? Has it been opposed? Has it been tested and evaluated in certain ways? Have you tested and evaluated yourself over the years? Um, have you collected data on yourself to create and understand that, okay, this is working for me? Or, hey, when I changed this, this worked better. Or when I changed this, it worked worse. So maybe I'm gonna go ahead and, and scratch that and go back to what I was doing. But if you never try and experience new things and you let your ego get in the way, you'll never learn. You'll never learn. And you may think you're learning, but you may not be. And most people aren't going to want to continue to try and teach you if you're not willing to experience new things. So go out, experience the new stuff, see if it works for you, try it out, give it that honest try. And I'm not talking a college try because nobody gives a college try. <laughs> but give it an honest try, right? An honest evaluation, an honest repetitions to figure out if that works for you. So whether it's grip or it's a different sighting system or it's new sights, if you're like into iron still, or if it's like trying new rifle optics or it's trying a new way of setting up your rifle, try it, man. I've tried so many different things over the years to try and find what works for me. And then something new comes out and I'm like, well, let me see how this works. And then I play around with it again. I also revisit old subjects like, hmm, I wonder if that will work for me like I thought it did last year, but it didn't. But then I had to re-realize that it didn't, right? So more discovery on your own, more learning on your own would do you so good in the overall picture of your abilities in different things, whether it's snowboarding, shooting, you know, like polo. It doesn't matter whatever you're doing and whatever obscure sport you're trying to do or skill you're trying to learn trying new things is always going to start developing the brain and developing you as a better person in that skill sport you know whatever 
So just be aware that a lot of shooters out there, especially in our industry or the people that are looking, you know, that watch this channel are usually shooters. Those people are not learning as much if they're letting ego get in the way. So put your ego aside, tell that bitch to go sit on the sidelines, go fail a little bit and learn from those failures versus only doing the things you're good at because oh, I've been good at it for years. Cool, man. Nobody cares if you're good at it for years. People care about how you can progress. So if you're an instructor, you should be still learning. If you're an, a trainer of some sort in, 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 in any agency at the moment, you should still be going out to classes and learning things. And, and I'm not saying that because I instruct people. I'm saying that because I myself go out and learn new things because damn it, is there more I can bring to the student, right? Not only that, but you have to remember, right? Just like Aaron Cowan told me when I first started teaching for Sage Dynamics was, hey dude, remember everything you teach somebody can get them killed on the streets or save lives. So make sure what you're teaching is so valuable or so necessary and is continuously evolving with the times because you never know, you never know what you teach somebody and what it will cause in the future. So always trying to provide the best knowledge I possibly can to students. So. Be aware of those different things, guys. Don't let your ego get in the way. It's okay to evolve with times. You know, if you look in your pocket, you probably have a cell phone that has been evolving with time already. Um, unless you have a Nokia in your in your pocket, then you haven't been evolving. And you, you rock on, man. You're obviously a goddamn dinosaur and you want to deal with that. So do you, boo-boo. But personally, when it comes to things, I'm a big, big into learning more and evolving, guys. Don't let your tactical ego get in the way. All right, so hopefully that helps some of you um, or angers some of you into making yourselves better. If it doesn't, cool. If it does, awesome. You know, yeah, take it or leave it. It's up to you. All right, so if you have any questions, comments, concerns, all that jazz, put them below, and, uh, and I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.